All right, I'm back on the uh, cowboy, and uh, today, today the clock got away from me. I'm just about a half hour before I have to quit. It's just uh, other things I've been doing for the last couple of days, and uh, I've got uh, next week. I'm going to have to start moving molds back to my stu uh, my storage unit, and. Uh, that's going to take several days to do that as well. So I'll do as much as I can today. I'm just getting ready to uh, figure out what I'm going to do as far as his uh, feet go and everything else. So I got to sculpt his uh, shoes right now. And uh, I got to get my magnifiers on. I can't even see what the heck I'm doing. Time to play with some clay. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all of my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them but that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link so please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now end of promotion yeah i've been going through my uh records on all my bronzes that i've got uh, stored and I'm trying to uh, record all the ones that i've ordered and the ones that i haven't ordered and that's just taking a lot of time that's all But I gotta have that record before I go ordering a, a bronze from a foundry. And they've got to have that record too. Okay, I'm gonna be putting bat wing shafts on him too. Uh, Uh, that's gonna be interesting looking when I get it done right now I'm almost half tempted to redo the cowboy completely not the face and the head I'll, I'll keep that but uh, I didn't make the armature for this position and the armature is popping through the uh, clay at places. Now I may be able to uh, correct that as uh, I put clothes on, but I don't know. It just really depends on a lot of things. <coughs> It's just what I'm thinking right now. I'm going to use Super Sculpty to uh, do the bat wing part of the shaft. 
uh, mainly because it'll hold its shape really well. I gotta fill in behind the uh, leg. And under the leg. Okay, I got my super sculpt sculpty just about perfect as far as the uh, softness goes. It's still a little hard on one part of it, so I'm going to squeeze it a little bit before I run it through my pasta machine. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to... I'm not going to go into much detail on the back of the legs on this because, quite honestly, you're not going to see it. I am going to attach the bat wings. That, and what I mean by the bat wings is the uh, wide flap of leather that comes off the uh, shafts. I'll show you a picture of it, I think, if I can find one. I'm going to go ahead and paint this shep. I won't paint the other one. I'll just do this one for now because the other one's not 
formed yet. Why am I turning the table? I can turn the pieces. So, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> getting it out of the camera range here. Now, the reason I'm using the, like I said, the uh, super sculpty is because it gets stiff, much stiffer than uh, the clay, the regular plastiline clay that I use. And for that reason, it just works out better for doing something like this that's flat and uh, has some form to it. And it also shows me where the seam is so that I can, you know, blend that in so that it uh, all blends in. It looks like one little bit of the sculpture. That's why I paint it. All right. I'll hold off on painting this part until the next time when I work on that part. I think you can see what I'm going, where I'm going with it, and uh, I just don't have the time to work on his boot and this leg here, but I will uh, when I come back next time, hopefully tomorrow, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. We got some stuff I'm do supposed to be doing, and. Uh, trying to get it all done. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.